Yeah. But other people think that it's an easier to differentiate line. So for me, that differ that it's almost impossible to differentiate the two. Other people think it's more clear. Um, and then in terms of the frequency, so in my research, seventy percent of people became convinced that they uh, committed a crime that never happened or experienced another important emotional event. And that number as well is is challenged in that people go, well, does that mean that seventy percent of people? can have false memories like this? And the answer is no, obviously not. That's that's just in my sample. That's just these specific six false memories. And it could be that I think 100% of people are prone to some version of this, just maybe not in this specific study, right? If I had to come up with different false memories to implant, or if I was a different person myself and people trusted me differently, there's the, again, those social factors that make it more or less likely that I'm going to be able to convince you that something happened in your life that you can't remember. And in one study, obviously, I can't capture that. But it also doesn't mean that 70% of the time people are, 